Hi, I'm Melanie, and this is Melanie's Yoga Couch. Today we're doing a energetic yoga flow for sensitive wrists. So we're going to be trying to put as little weight on the hands as possible, just to give the wrists a little break. So come to standing at the front of your mat. Bring your hands together in front of the chest, plugging the thumbs into the chest, bowing the head. Take a moment to connect with the breath and the body. And then we'll move into some half sun salutations. Inhale the arms up over the head. Exhale into the forward fold. Inhale into your half lift. Exhale forward fold. Inhale, draw the arms up over the head, looking up. Exhale, come right back down, Uttanasana. Inhale, Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, Uttanasana. Inhale, long spine. Reach the hands up. One more time. Exhale, forward. Uttanasana. Inhale, reach the crown of the head forward. Sit bones back. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, draw the arms up and overhead. And exhale, the thumbs to the center of the chest. We're coming into some side stretches. So inhale, the arms up. Grab the left wrist with the right hand. Reach the hands up and over to the right. Stepping the left foot behind the right foot. Straightening the legs. Change sides, reach up, change the hands, step the right foot behind the left foot, and then come back to center. Reach the hands behind the back, interlace the fingers, and inhale, look up and lift the chest. Exhale, bow forward, bend the knees, let the hands fall over the head. Release the hands. And just find a rag doll. So grab opposite elbows, maybe swing a bit from side to side, maybe shake the head yes and no. Feel free to leave your knees bent. And then release the hands, come into a half lift. Bring the hands together in front of the chest and take a big step back with the right foot, coming into high lunge. Inhale, the arms up overhead. And exhale, the left hand to the left hip, reaching the right hand up and over to the left. Create space in the ribs, on the side. And then inhale, the left hand up. And exhale into warrior two on the left side. Take a moment to find your warrior two, maybe adjusting the feet. And then maybe sink a little deeper. Glancing over the left fingertips. One more breath. With your next exhale, bring the left forearm to the left thigh. Right arm over the right ear into side angle, extended side angle. Make sure you're pressing in the right foot and reaching through the right fingertips for a full body stretch. Inhale, back up into warrior two. Exhale, straighten the front leg, bring the hands to the hips. We'll take a step in with the back foot coming into pyramid. Bring your right hip forward, left hip back. Reach the hands behind the back, grabbing, grabbing opposite elbows. Inhale, lift, and exhale, come forward into the forward fold. The right hip is reaching forward, left hip reaching back and the crown of the head is reaching forward for a long spine. Inhale, lift, release the hands, step the right foot forward, and we'll come right into the other side. Inhale, draw the hands up, exhale, Uttanasana. Inhale, Ardha Uttanasana. Bring the hands together in front of the chest and take a big step back with the left foot, 
Coming into high lunge. Inhale the arms up and over the head. And exhale the right hand to the right hip. Inhale the left hand reaches up and over to the right. For the nice side stretch. And then inhale both arms up. We're gonna move into warrior two on the right side. Right hand comes forward, left hand comes back. Take a moment to find your warrior two, maybe adjusting the feet. And then maybe sink a little deeper, relaxing the shoulders and reaching through the fingertips. With your next exhale, bring the right forearm to the right thigh. The left bicep comes over the left ear, palm facing down for extended side angle. Lift up out of that right shoulder. And then inhale back up into warrior two. Exhale, straighten the right leg, step the back foot forward. We'll come right into pyramid, Parsvottanasana on the right side. Grab opposite elbows, inhale, lift, and exhale, fold forward. Stay with the breath. And then inhale, lift, bring the hands to the side. We'll come back to standing, bringing the thumbs to the center of the chest and take a moment to feel the heart and the breath. And then with your next inhale, draw the arms up, bring the palms together, exhale forward into the forward fold. Inhale, half lift, bring the hands to the center of the chest. We'll take a big step back with the right foot. Inhaling, drawing the arms up overhead. Exhaling, bring the hands together in front of the chest. We're gonna twist over to the left. So bring your right elbow to the outside of the left knee, and then open up the hands, bringing the right hand towards the mat, left hand towards the ceiling. Using the right elbow just to help you twist open in the chest, and trying to draw the belly button towards the spine. One more breath. And then inhale back to center. We're gonna bring the arms to the side like airplane wings and come into warrior three on the left side. Press yourself up, lifting the right leg parallel to the mat, flexing the right foot, trying to point the right toes towards the mat. Stay with the breath. And then bring the right foot slowly next to the left, coming into mountain pose. Inhale, draw the arms up. We're gonna move right into the other side. Exhale, forward. Inhale into half lift. And take a big step back with your left foot into high lunge. Draw the arms up overhead. And then exhale the palms to the center of the chest. We're gonna come and twist towards the right. So bring your left elbow to the outside of the right knee and open up the arms. You can look up towards the right fingertips if that's comfortable in your neck. Draw the belly button towards the spine. And open up the chest. Inhale, come back to center, bringing both hands together in front of the chest. We'll move into warrior three on the right side. Bring the hands to the sides like airplane wings. Press up, lift the left leg parallel to the ground, flexing the left foot and rotating the towards to the direction of the mat. Try to lower the left hip 
and bring the hips in one line. And then lower the left foot and come to standing at the front of the mat. Walk the feet out towards the sides, turning the toes out. We'll come into Malasana, set the hips low. And we're gonna move into a twist. Bring the right hand towards the right to the floor. Lift the left fingertips. So make sure you have only a little bit of weight in the right hand. You can look up if that's comfortable. And then come back to center, lengthen the spine, and then twist over, bringing the left hand to the mat and reaching the right fingertips towards the ceiling. Inhale back to center, long spine, and then bring the hands to the mat. We're gonna come into all fours and then lower immediately down onto the forearms, making sure the forearms are parallel, and then lifting the hips into dolphin. Your glances towards the feet, pressing in the forearms, lifting the tailbone. We're gonna come into three-legged dolphin, so inhale the right leg up, flex the foot, And then exhale, slowly lower the right foot and inhale the left foot. Flex the foot, keep the hips in one line. And then exhale, lower. Walk the feet back. We're gonna move into plank on the forearms and then bring the feet together in the middle, toes touching. Your next exhale, we're gonna to lower to the outside of the left foot, keeping the upper body where it is, and just rotating the hips. So we're stacking the feet. Exhale to the left, inhale, and exhale to the right. Inhale up, exhale to the left, inhale, and exhale to the right. One more time each side, exhaling to the left, inhale, exhale to the right. Come back to plank and exhale, lower the hips. We're moving into sphinx. So make sure the tops of the feet are pressing in the mat. The pubic bone is pressing into the mat. And we're reaching the belly button towards the spine. So we have a really strong spine. And we're trying to create space in the lower back. You can glance just beyond the fingertips. And slowly lower the head to the hands. We'll make a pillow with the hands. And just take a minute to reconnect with the breath. Maybe shaking the hips a bit from side to side. And bring the hands underneath the shoulders, press back. We'll move into child's pose bringing the forehead to the mat, the arms by the sides, and just letting go in the shoulders and in the lower back. Sending the breath into the back. And then slowly roll up to sitting on the heels. and bring your feet out in front of you. We're gonna come into Gomukhasana. So tuck your right leg underneath the left and stack the knees. If you need to, you can straighten out the bottom leg. Make sure your sit bones are pressing into the mat and grab the big toes. Make sure you have a long spine. And then reach the right hand up and over and bring the right hand between the shoulder blades grabbing the right elbow with the left hand. Just a nice stretch in the arm. And 
And then release the hands. Bring the hands out in front of you. We're gonna slowly lower. So just find the point that works for you. You don't need to come all the way down. You can also stack the fists and just rest the head on the fists. And slowly lift up. We're going to change the legs. So bring your right leg underneath the left, stacking the left knee above the right knee. Press the sit bones into the mat. Reach the crown of the head towards the ceiling. And then draw your left hand up and between, set it between the shoulder blades bringing the right hand to the left elbow. And just pressing gently for a nice stretch in the tricep. And then release the hands. Bring the hands out in front of you. Feel free to move forward. Just finding your own limits. And then staying there, using the breath to maybe find some extra space. Releasing the shoulders, releasing the neck. And then slowly draw yourself back up. Bring the soles of the feet to the mat. And let the knees fall over to the right. Just doing some windshield wipers, letting the knee fall over the left. Up and over to the right, up and over to the left. We're coming into Janushasana. Bring the left sole of the foot to the inside of the right thigh. Stretch the right leg out and then twist over towards your right, bringing the left hand to the outside of the left thigh, right fingertips to the mat. Come back to center and just start to fold over the right leg. Just bring the hands to the side of the leg. We don't need to grab the foot. Just use the breath to come deeper. And then walk yourself back up to sitting. Bring the right leg a bit more to the right so we have some space. Then we're gonna bring the right hand to the right leg, or you can bring your right forearm to the ground. Left hand reaches up and over. You can bring the left hand behind the head and just rest the head in the hand, leaning back and opening up the chest. Drawing the left elbow up and over. Inhale, come back up. And we'll switch the legs. So we'll straighten out the left leg, bring the right sole of the foot to the inside of the left leg. First twisting over to the left, bring your right hand to the outside of the left leg. And then inhale, come back to center and just fold over the left leg, walking the hands out, just finding your limit. And then bringing the awareness back to the breath. With each exhale, letting a bit more go in the shoulders, in the neck. And then slowly walk yourself back up. Bring the left leg over to the left. Right sole of the foot to the inner left thigh. And then you can bring the left hand to the left leg or the left forearm all the way to the mat. Inhale the right hand up and over, bringing the right hand to the back of the head, looking up 
and letting the head rest in the hand. So almost pressing the head in the hand, opening up the chest and lifting that right elbow up towards the ceiling and back in the direction of the foot. Inhale, come back up. Straightening out the legs, giving them a little shake. And then bring the soles of the feet to the mat, bend the knees. We're gonna roll all the way back to laying on the back. Bring the knees into the chest, hug the knees. And then hug the left knee into the chest, stretch out the right leg. And bring the left foot to the inside of the right leg, using the right hand to guide the, le the left knee over towards the right side. The left arm is in cactus or T-arm, and we're looking over the left shoulder. So really allow this stretch to go into the left shoulder. And maybe into the left chest. And lift the left knee back up, hug the left knee in, hug both knees in. And then straighten out the left leg hugging the right knee towards the right shoulder. The right foot comes to the inside of the left thigh. Use your left hand to guide the knee over towards the left side and look over the right shoulder. Really allowing the stretch to go into the right shoulder trying to allow the right shoulder to sink as much as possible towards the mat. Draw the knees back up, hug the knees in. And then we'll move into Shavasana, the final pose. Bring the arms to the side, palms face up, feet fall open. You might wanna adjust your ponytail if you have one. And just take a moment to get really heavy. We're just gonna take a short Shavasana, but you're of course welcome to stay as long as, as long as you can. Allow the body to get heavy. start to wake up the fingers and the toes reaching the arms up over the head stretching the arms stretching the legs and then release bring the soles of the feet to the mat and rolling over to the right side press yourself up into sitting Cross the legs. Thank you for class today. Have a great day. Namaste.